from what I've, I know about the building, I believe it was built, I think, probably mid to late 60s. Uh, and the first portion of its life was uh, spent as a bowling alley. In fact, if you look at the main studio, you can still see bits, you know, elements of the bowling alley that, that were still there. Anglia TV bought it, in, uh, and it's a bit sketchy, a bit hazy, but I believe 1983, maybe 85, um, and they converted it into, the, into an LE studio. And the top floor was an LE studio. Uh, the, very, the very top was a canteen, and downstairs here, uh, these studios, one of these studios we're sitting in didn't exist, um, and the whole bottom floor was a construction workshop. Um, Till about late the late eighties, I think. When was that? Maybe even the early nineties. Uh, and then the the decision was made to move the newsroom down here. So then these these two studios, one of which we're sitting in, was was constructed, um, and a whole load of infrastructure was built outside to house uh, an east and a west news. Um, uh, Basically, we were the, I think, the last of the ITV regional studios to be shut down, and uh, the place was mothballed basically for, I think, just shy of two years. And in that time period, um, a couple of reports were written on what to do with it, and uh, I was a co author for, or contributor, I should say, for one of those reports. And um, the county council eventually bought it, and the East of England Development Agency stumped up. Uh, a not inconsiderable amount of money to build it into the machine that it currently is. Epic is open to anyone and everyone. Uh, we have different rates of different companies. We have lots of schools and colleges using the equipment. Epic is now a, well, it's a television studio and innovation center is the term. Uh, we have spaces where companies can uh, rent uh, office space and generally small startup companies in the media set in the media business can come in and get going. Like I said, we have three studios. Studio E is a large HD studio, six HDVS Sony cameras, uh, J27 box lenses, and a few other smaller lenses as well. <laughs> uh, so like I said, full surround HD live light entertainment studio. Uh, we also have the two smaller studios, which are again, can be used live, uh, full HD, but with smaller cat JVC Pro HD cameras. Uh, on top of that, we have six editing suites, five Final Cut, one Avid Adrenaline, and a Avid Pro Tools dubbing suite. And in H with uh, surround sound, all can operate in HD, all have VTR and proper monitors and everything. I think at last count, it's over just shy of 10 businesses hire office space and facility in the, in the building. Um, there's also a large education side to, to the um, operation. So we have uh, Norwich University College of the Arts running a, uh, a moving image degree here. Um, we do modules for uh, video journalism for the UEA uh, and also various uh, bits and pieces for the City College. Yeah, uh, I started here as an intern uh, last year and we have a lot of interns come through and it's a great way for people to get into the business. Uh, we do paid internships here. Um, one set up through the UEA called Project Evolve, which I did, and another one called uh, Future Jobs Fund, which I'm not entirely sure who administers that. But um, it's a chance for people out fresh out of university to come in and uh, actually get some real world experience, paid experience, and sometimes get a job. Favourite production? Hmm. I I don't have a favourite production. That's an unfair question. Um, I have the the biggest train set in the country, I think, to play with, uh, and I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, best production so far to me has been the Frank Skinner stuff we did a couple well, about a month ago now. Uh, we did two weeks of it, and it, just being with the fact that it was a full BBC production, it's kind of it's enjoyable to see something you've worked on and something you've been a part of go out for the world to see. But as time has gone on, I found out that, uh, by chance, I guess, really, that I'm more of a people person than I ever thought I was. Uh, and also, um, I have more of a handle on business than I thought I, uh, that I did. So um, that's the area that really interests me now, the talking to people, bringing people in here and, and doing business with them. I find that really fascinating.